Tonight's top story, the village of Mingo Junction has collected on an expired levy that goes back multiple years and to the previous mayor's administration. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jamie Baker and I'm Dylan Cleveland. News 9's Bill Steinbach spoke with Mingo Junction Mayor Judy Ruckman earlier this afternoon and is live in the News 9 Content Center this evening with the latest. Bill, good evening. Good evening, Dylan and Jamie, and thank you. Yes, this levy is an income tax levy that has been continued to be collected by the village since 2022, totaling approximately two and a half million dollars. The levy expired at the end of 2021. It was thought to have been voted on and approved as if it were on the ballot and approved for five years. About a month ago, uh, I got a notice from the Board of Elections to make sure that we knew we had to get any of our new levies um, on the ballot. Um, we have the tax levy and we have the wage levy. Levy for 22 was not put on for the wage levy. The extra 1%, we have a continual 1% always, and then we put an extra 1% for five years increments and um, found that it wasn't put on in 21 for 22. Meaning in 2022 through the early part of 2024, the village has been collecting the tax as if the levy was passed. The money was being used in budget line items as it was supposed to be, but wasn't officially voted in. And according to Ruckman, just over $1 million needs to be paid back. And now village officials are working to have it on the ballot this fall. I have to get it on the ballot by um, in and ready to be on the ballot by August for the November election. We get a one time shot mm -hmm. and um, I'm praying that it passes because it's very important and imperative um, for the community. We just started to see it be better. In a statement from the Regional Income Tax Agency for residents of Mingo Junction, Rita will identify taxpayers who paid the additional 1% and a credit will be provided. Rita will continue working with village officials to make taxpayers aware of next steps as we finalize these processes and the related forms. Ruckman says while the issue wasn't her administration's mistake, she wants residents to know that she's working to get things corrected. Just sorry and I'm just going to try to do better, do better for the community, make sure that we stay on top of things or more aware. Now, as far as updates to this story, be sure to stick with News 9 as we'll continue to follow this and, to, excuse me, continue to follow this levy and provide any details as they become available ahead of the November election. In the News 9 Content Center, I'm Bill Steinbach, News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.